Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, and today is Morning Moose Man Monday, which means that I will be answering either a Morning Moose Man related question or I'll be just talking about something. So a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me questions, and I've been slowly chipping away at all those. And today's question comes from Roddy Rita, who says, If you haven't done it already, talk about how you got interested in Momosu in the first place and what other things about Japan you like, if anything. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about this before about how I got interested in Morning Musume is that back in, what was it, 2004, 2005-ish, I went to an after-school program kind of thing at my school, and what they had there was an opportunity to do your homework, to get tutoring help. They also had video games for in case your parents had to work and they couldn't pick you up right at three, and so I would go in there and play video games. Well, one of my friends had been playing Kingdom Hearts, and at first I thought, oh, Kingdom Hearts, you know, I like Disney, but that doesn't really seem like a game that I would like. And he convinced me to play it, and I started from the very beginning, and I heard the opening, and I loved Simple and Clean. I thought it was the greatest song that I had ever heard up until that point. And so I looked up Utada Hikaru from that point, and I looked up all her English stuff, which I didn't care for, and then I found out that she had Japanese music. Then I just got totally blown away by the fact that she was Japanese-American and bilingual, and that she did both American and Japanese songs, and that she was just the coolest thing that had ever walked this earth. And so I downloaded like every song that I could possibly find from her. And I was looking at more J-pop over time, and I was trying to find more stuff. It's stuff that I would be interested in, and I didn't really find a whole lot. Well, one day I was Googling J-pop, and somehow I ended up on Ayaka Surprise English Lessons back forever ago when Ayaka Kimura was still in Hello Project and Ayaka was a Hawaiian Japanese uh, Japanese person of Hawaiian descent or Hawaiian of Japanese descent I don't know however that works and she was in Coconuts Musume which was a subgroup of Hello Project and she would go to like the morning Musume headquarters building wherever they they were all the time to do all their music videos and stuff and she would go in and surprise them with an English lesson and I remember watching all the videos and I went through and I looked for all the subs and I thought that these girls were the funniest people I had ever I've, I've ever seen on the internet before and so I, I looked them up and I was trying to find more information about them and ended up running into Morning Musume so then I googled them and up came Kanashimi Twilight and I fell in love with that song and subsequently just fell in love with Morning Musume. So since that point, I've just been in a whirlwind of Morning Musume. And that is how I originally got interested in them. As far as other things in Japan that I'm interested in, I really, I like the the whole culture. The idea of such a tight-knit community and a place where they're the boundaries are so broken down that you can really be whoever you are and be that person comfortably is what I've gathered from Japanese culture and it's very accepting very loving very community oriented very family oriented there was a church I was going to for a while when I still had my car and it was a Japanese church and they were all second third generation so they all speak English but the community and the environment is still there and I really appreciated that the food is bomb. I'm not a fan of fish. I actually really think it's disgusting. So I don't know if I would enjoy any of the fish courses, but I talked to a few Japanese friends and they said that it's a stereotype that Japanese people eat fish all the time. They said that they eat chicken and beef and vegetables all the time, just as much as they eat fish. And so I was like, huh, well, that's interesting. So I guess it's just a stereotype we have here in America. And so I would love to go to Japan and try legit authentic Japanese food and the stuff that I had at this church was bomb the stuff that I've had from like mom and pop restaurants so good um, I think I just like the whole idea of the culture and going there and being there someday is a huge dream of mine just to really be immersed in the culture and be immersed into a new area to really get to know it and understand it better would it would be really great for me I think and it would be an opportunity for me to expand myself in new directions I'm also super interested in the language I think it is beautiful I really like the way that the structure is the way that it's got a rhythm and a tempo and I love the characters and 
just everything about it is so smooth and so exotic and different than what is here in America. And I like the idea of a symbol being a representation of a word and that each part of that symbol means a greater piece of that word. So I think just the whole concept of it is cool. I would love to go to Japan someday. And if anybody would like to send me there, you know, you can message me and you can give me some money so I can go because I'm poor. And if you would like to fund that, you're more than welcome to and I won't stop you. But that is the end of this video. Quick update on everything. I am going to try to be uploading more videos as the next couple weeks go on because I should be having internet at my apartment next week at the earliest. I'm hoping that I'll have internet at my apartment. So I'll be uploading videos more often. But at the same time, I may be a little bit pressed because the federal government has decided to drop $27,000 worth of loan repayment back on my doorstep and I'm not graduated yet. So I either need to figure out how to pay all that now or try to get a hold of somebody to get that deferred for a while. So if anybody knows any tricks on dealing with the federal government, please put that below or in my inbox because I need help with figuring out how to deal with these people. It's frustrating. But that is beyond the point. Thank you so much for watching. Whoever out there is listening and watching, thank you. I'm Jeremy. Peace out.